Na darating na November 28 na nga magaganap ang bakbakang Mike Tyson at Roy Jones Jr. Bagamat exhibition lang ang laban, marami pa rin boxing fans ang nananabik sa pagtutuos ng dalawa. Ngunit habang nalalapit na ang kanilang laban ay aminado si Roy Jones na tila kinakabahan siya sa pagharap nila ni Mike Tyson. I mean, you're obviously known for, you know, the sweet science of the sport, you know, and, and Mike Tyson, everybody knows him for his power. He has no other use. Why does he have so much speed? Because he's born and bred to race, especially fight a power puncher like Mike Tyson at this age, especially taking the chance of my own health mm -hmm. being in danger because you're in the ring with the great power puncher, explosive killer mentality, Mike Tyson. Now, I, you mentioned, you, you talked about how dangerous Mike Tyson is. Whether he's 54 or whether he's 34, is, is that danger still the same? Don't matter. He's still just as dangerous. Matter of fact, he's more dangerous than 54 because he knows now, instead of being able to hit you for 10 rounds, he may not be able to hit you with 8. That's why he's scared of 8 rounds instead. Hmm. So he got to try to do even more damage when he hits you because he don't have as much time. Hmm. That's it. What? So he's even more dangerous. Nakilala si Roy Jones sa kanyang bilis at mga entertainment fight. Taong 1989 nang maging professional boxer ito. At taong 1993 naman nakuha niya ang bakanting IBF middleweight title nang talunin niya si Bernard Hopkins by a unanimous decision. Taong 1994 ay umakit agad ng timbang at naging IBF super middleweight champion. Taong 1996, umakyat muli ng timbang at nakuha niya ang bakanting WBC Interim Light Heavyweight title. At taong 1997 naman ay naging WBC Light Heavyweight Champion. Taong 1998, nang maging WBC WBA Unified Champion. At taong 1999, naging Undisputed Light Heavyweight Champion. Nakuha niya ang titulong WBC, WBA at IBF title. At taong 2003 ay sinubukang umakyat sa heavyweight division at naging WBA champion. Siya din ang pinakaunang buksingero na galing ng middleweight at naging champion sa heavyweight division. Matapos ngang mag-champion sa heavyweight division, nabigyan ng offer si Roy Jones para labanan si Tyson na may kasiguraduhang bayad na 40 million dollars. Ngunit tinanggihan naman ni Roy Jones ang offer sa kanya at tila ba naliliitan pa sa 40 million dollars. Mas pinili pa nga ni Roy Jones na bumaba ng timbang upang harapin si Antonio Tarver sa isang unification bout at nanalo naman ito sa kanilang unang pagharap. Ngunit sa kanilang naging rematch ay natalo ito kay Tarver by a knockout sa loob lang ng second round. At dito na nagsimulang lumubog ang kanyang karir. Marami pang naging laban si Jones ngunit hindi na siya bumalik sa heavyweight division. At ang huli niyang laban ay noong 2018 at ang kanya namang naging record ay 66 wins, 47 knockouts at siyam na talo. At ang kanyang edad ngayon ay 51 years old. Samantalang si Mike Tyson naman ay mas bihasang makipagbakbakan sa mas malalaking kalaban sa heavyweight division na naging pinakaunang batang kampiyon ng heavyweight sa edad na 20 anyos. At taong 1988 nang maging kauna-unahang undisputed na heavyweight champion kung saan nahawakan niya ang WBC, WBA at IBF title. Sa kasalukuyan, sa edad nitong 54 years old ay hindi pa rin nagbabago ang mga galawan. At kung may lakas pa nga ay makikita na rin natin sa kanilang magiging laban sa November 28.
maraming salamat po sa mga bago nag-subscribe sa ating channel. At, at sa mga gustong magpa-promote at magpa-shoutout, comment down lang po. And again, marami pong salamat.